Hello, hello, and welcome to RuPaul's Drag Race Rejudged, and today, I will be taking a look at the runways of Canada's Drag Race Season 2. This season has, overall, what I believe are the best runway themes of any season of any franchise, so I'm really excited to get to do this one. Let's get into it. First up, we have the Episode 1 Design Challenge. This one, really easy. Isis, Stephanie, and Suki were the top three for the challenge. They were the top three here. They're all great. I'm not going to go into too much detail here because I will be doing that in my rejudged video on Saturday. Category is Circus Berserkus. I've talked about it before. Dear Lord, do I love this runway theme. It is absolutely incredible. The top three here, in my opinion are Eve 6000, Isis Couture, and Pythia. Eve was a clown getting swallowed by a lion. I think that is an incredible and hilarious concept. Eve's looks were not the strongest this season, but I think this was her high point. Isis was just all around solid, I don't really know how to describe it, and then Pythia was a two-headed fortune teller, and she was absolutely incredible. Her runways were so outside of the box this season, and I love that. Category is Good Girl Gone Bad. First up, we have Adriana. I think this is beautiful. This is what got her the challenge win, in my opinion. Her runway was just out of this world. It is, in my opinion, the best Marie Antoinette anyone has done across the franchises so far. It was just great. Geometric, just really solid execution, really beautiful dress. The judges ate this up, and I fully understand why. Then we have Kimura Moore, once again, beautiful look, great concept, great execution. Category is Made in Canada. I love this theme. We have up here Eve 6000, Kimora Amor, and Pythia. I think this was the episode where they critiqued Eve's wig. It's not the best wig ever, but the look is still incredible. Kimora was just amazing, and Pythia, I love Shit's Creek. I love Catherine O'Hara. This was incredible. I love Pythia. If you can't tell, I really love Pythia. Category is Monochromatica, Futuristic Pop Princess. Now, while these three are not necessarily the three strongest looks on the runway, I think they all fit the theme of Futuristic Pop Princess really well. Eve 6000, this is just a great look. She looks incredible. Isis Couture, it's similar to something Kidamine did, but upgraded. And then Pythia, as I said before, I love Pythia and I love this look. My only critique is that her wig and the other greens used did not really match. The category is Rock and Roll. We have Adriana, Isis Couture, and Pythia yet again. She is on the roll. I think they all just had great ideas and executions. Isis is my absolute favorite. As someone who watched an insane amount of 80s cartoons, this was amazing to see, and I love Isis for it. Category is Ugly as Sin. We have, once again, Adriana, Isis, and Pythia. I want to give a shout out to Kimora. I think her look was really powerful. However, I don't think this is the video to be talking about that. I'm trying to not go into too much detail because I'm doing a video on the Sinner's Ball itself later this week, so I will leave it at Adriana, Isis, and Pythia. Category is Seven Deadly Sins. I think this is a really good runway theme, a really good theme for a ball in general, and for the top three we have Geometric as Sloth, Isis Couture as Wrath, and Pythia as Gluttony. All three looks are great. I'll go into more detail when I do my full video on this episode later this week. Category is Dungeons and Drag Queens. This is an incredible theme. I talk about it in my Runway Categories video, but just an incredible theme. You cannot go wrong. 
but Adriana, Isis, and Pythia once again did the best. I don't know how many times they've been the top three together, but it is a lot. Category is Cool Mom Makeover. I think this is a really, really fun concept for a makeover. Everyone did pretty well. However, Geometric, Kendall Gender, and Pythia did the best. I think that Pythia was the overall best on the runway, while Kendall had incredible, incredible runway presentation, and I don't think that can be understated. Category is Pastel Perfection. Yes, I am judging the looks they wore to the reunion. I stand by that. Isis looked absolutely beautiful. Kendall was stunning. And Stephanie is back, so she will be killing the runway for the rest of the season. I think her looks and her abilities as a runway queen are heavily underrated. Final category is Coronation, Eleganza, and wouldn't you know... Stephanie Prince is back along with Suki Doll and Isis Couture. They started the season in the top together, and they are ending the season in the top together. They all have incredible drag aesthetics, taste, and execution. I personally think that if you judge this season just based off the runways, these three queens and Pythia would be the final four. Now we have the runway scoring chart, as every queen has received one point for every time they've been in the top three. I'm not going to go into an insane amount of detail on how many points each queen had. I will give you the ultimate scores the queens received. Pythia and Isis ended off the season tied for first, each being in the top nine times. Adriana, pretty much based off the Sinner's Ball, is in third place with four points. And then Geometric and Eve 6000 are in tied for fourth place with three points each. Thank you so much if you have made it this far. I will be making a video on the Sinner's Ball later this week and a video on Canada Season 2 this Saturday. But at least for today, that is all I have. Thank you so much. If you want more content just like this, well then subscribe for more gay sh**.